Ooh, somebody's flying over there. Aussie eye, Aussie eye, go sit on your eggs, Aussie eye. Nope. He and Persimmon are ignoring me, and they're just hanging out on the top of their cage. Look at all you guys. You got cage fluff puffing off the bottom from your nesting material. They're such silly birds. Such silly birds. Ah. But, hello. Hi, guys. So, I have a special package that just arrived from Amazon today. Darling and I are huge Amazon fiends. We love Amazon Prime. And normally, we just use his Amazon Prime account to order stuff for the house and things. But this is something I had to order through my account as a little secret. Because, uh, although we don't really celebrate like anything special about Easter, I love any excuse to just have fun. To just embrace the joy of being alive and the opportunity to make people happy. And so, I've got Darling kind of a little... Easter setup, and I'm gonna hide the eggs. And now the final piece has arrived, so I'm gonna show you guys what goes in the big egg. So, without further ado, oh, and I also got these for me. So I saw how cheap they were on Amazon. Well, like three bucks maybe. <laughs> While I was uh, getting ready to order Darling's present, and I was like, oh, I need to get these. So it's the grass set. It's three of the grass series boxes from Minecraft, the minifigures, which I love. I love minifigures, and I love, like, they have the little Enderman holding a block, which is so adorable. They've got the little iron golem guard. What I'm really, really hoping for, though, is like either the cow or the cat or the villager zombie. I actually would love if I could get a ton of the villager zombies. I'm in love with villager zombies, so I've really got my fingers crossed for that. Or the cow. I like cows too. The Enderman would be cool too. So basically, I hope that'll be what I get. Who knows? But I ordered a few of them so that he could hide them for me and I could have kind of like an Easter thing as well. So he's going to hide those. And then all of these... Or for him! And since we're vegans, I had to come up with vegan candy. And guess what? Now that they've changed what they use in the red food dye and Skittles, Skittles are vegan! Oh, that's a padunky one. That's like one of the ones where I just had a few Skittles left. I swear I, I, treat, I treat him better than that. I've got one that's like packed full of Skittles. There we go. That's a better example. So there's a ton of Skittles for him to snack on. We very rarely have candy because um, he's super duper health conscious. Also, check out my algae growing in the bottom of this vase. Isn't that so cool? Apparently, you're supposed to like empty these vases and scrub them out every month, and I have never done that. So now we have this beautiful like layer of little filamentous algae. And of course, I would be excited about having algae in my flower vases of all things. Oh, and look at Mary singing for us. Good boy. Good boy, sing your little heart out. The girls are watching him, too. Oh, that's actually Starburst to the right. And it looks like Strawberry past Starburst. And then there's Aussie Eye jumping around. I'm trying to get, like, oh, and there's Persimmon. She's actually on the bottom of the cage right there. I'm trying to get them to, like, sit still for the videos longer. <laughs> but they're just refusing, so I'll have to see what we can do. Oh, and now Aussie Eye's singing. It's a sing-off. Oh, I love the beautiful sounds in the house. But, all right, so these are all full of Skittles, actually, because I don't want, like, any chocolate and things to melt. When I told him I wanted to hide eggs for him, he was like, we're going to lose it, and the chocolate's going to melt. And I'm like, well, I won't put chocolate in it, so I put Skittles in it instead. And I love how cute they are. They were just at Walmart, and they're so adorable. And look what happens when you, like, open them up. Oh, my gosh, it's so cute. Because when you pop it open, it's like a chocolate egg. It's like all, all brown on the inside. I was like, oh, it's like a little chocolate egg, a little fake chocolate egg. So I got excited about that. And then this dude is who has arrived for Easter. And I, I felt kind of weird taking him out of the package. Oh, look at him. He's got a nice little scabbard there. Oh, that's such cool detail. I felt kind of weird taking him out of the package. But Darling takes his out of the packages. You can see the Yoshi. The only amiibo we currently have, but he likes them. He just, you know, it's kind of hard to plop down random money on things like this. And I'm like, you know what, I want to get him something that he'll actually enjoy using as a decorative item. So no more plants and rocks. <laughs> so I just got him the little Toon, Toon Link character. Ta-da! And I'll put the box somewhere in case he wants it. And I got this big old egg, also at Walmart. And what we're going to do is we're going to hide Link here inside of all this fluff. Okay, Link, going in here. Oh, look at his little eyes. He's like, I don't know about this. I'm a little bit unsure. That's so funny. He really does look unsure about being in, in the little egg. Dun-dun-dun. Hey, Link. Do you want an egg next to you? 
Oh, that makes it look so big. Wow. Oh, so cool. Picture time, picture time. We gotta have a green one, though. Oh, I guess there is a huge green egg right here, but still. So there we go. And I'm gonna hide him in here. Gotta get more fluff. Oh, and I also got tea for Darling. This is his favorite tea. It is actually like $14 for, what is it? It's like $14 for 15 satchels, like a dollar a tea bag. But it is his absolute drop-dead most favorite peppermint tea ever. So I, I couldn't resist. Also, I've been drinking some of it lately, and I felt guilty <laughs> for drinking his expensive tea, even though he says it's totally fine. It's not like it, I've never seen the man get mad in his entire life. I'm like, not even frustrated. It's sort of amazing. Let go, let go, grass. It's hard to do this one-handed. Oh, there we go. Come on. Eh. Eh. Ossie is washing me. He's like, what are you doing with my bedding material? Ossie, I'll give it to you after Darling's done. Hang on, guys. There we go, victory. After Darling's done finding finding his like eggs. All right, now we're gonna fill you up. Look at it spin. It's just like wee. All right, and let's put all the fluff inside. And then we're gonna snap it closed. All right, Link. It's kind of like you're going in a temporary coffin, but don't dwell on that. There we go. And just kind of take care of the extra bits sticking out. <laughs> Stay in there, grass stuff. Hide the fact that Link is hiding in there. I we gotta hide the box too, but I've got a hiding spot. Darling never looks in the closet, so I'll hide it in there. Just in case he wants the box. Alright, so there we go. Now we've got his Easter egg present. I'm so excited. I cannot wait uh for him to come home because he's going on a trip uh to Cincinnati in a couple days. So I'm really excited to be able to have like a little fun fun hide the eggs, find the eggs sort of thing. And he's going to hide the little things for me and I'm going to find them and I'll open them up later so we can see what is hiding in these minifigure boxes. And also just a heads up, I think we're going to be, whoops, sorry Link, we're going to be planting these beets in the secret garden pretty soon. As soon as the weather stabilizes just a little bit more, probably this time next week, we will plant the beets in the ground. So I'm pretty excited. That's why they're out because I'm studying up on beets. And finally, it is time for me to enjoy company with my awesome birds and eat my delicious vegan, gluten-free macaroni and cheese uh, that's made with <laughs> butternut squash and cashews and it has peas in it and it is the most delicious thing in the world. Oh, it's so yummy and it doesn't hurt my tummy because it's gluten-free. Yay! Alright guys, I'm going to hide the eggs and Darling will come home in about an hour and then I'll see you when he finds them and he can hide those for me and it should be good fun and I'll see you later. Bye-bye! Hey y'all everyone! <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking at a stray cat that was walking past the window. I forgot to get more cat food today, but I'll do that. So, Darling came down and he had a great time finding all those eggs. It was really fun. I hid one in my Nautilus. I hid one under my horseshoe crab. Uh, I hid one in the birdcage in their little swing thing. They thought that was kind of like not cool. So, they had a lot to say about it. <laughs> I hid one in my gecko tail on the wall, the little beautiful like metal gecko I've got up on the wall. I hid one under the gecko I have, the metal gecko I have in my uh, beautiful umbrella plant. Hi! It's got so much new growth because it's been getting warmer and more sun has been coming in. So go umbrella plant, go. I really hope wherever we move next, like the apartment gets a lot of natural sunlight because I, I have a lot of plants that need it. But anyway, that was fun. Here are the blind boxes, so we're going to open these up, and I'm, I'm really excited. I love random things, and these are just going to be so much fun. So let's see what's hiding in here. I'm really hoping for a cat or a zombie villager. It has little, it has little tape. I didn't see the little tape. Oh no, hang on. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't see the little tape, but luckily... Dun, dun, dun. I've got glass, glasses. I've got scissors. Why did I say glasses? Who knows? Sometimes words just come right on out. There we go. And there's one in here. Are you Steve? What are you? It feels like I'm gonna feel it and take a guess. I don't feel a chunky donkey nose. I don't. Feel 
feel anything in the hands. I think it's a skeleton. Let's see if I'm right. And it... Oh! <laughs> no, it's little Steve! So there we go, we've got little Steve. And that's pretty cute. I think I might do like a little giveaway with him. Like sign on the foot or something. Or on the back of the head. And do that. But welcome Steve! I guess it's good to start with the basics. I wish you were a cat though, but I'm not going to begrudge it upon him. So let's do this. I'm going to feel this one and see if we can take a guess of what's hiding inside because I love doing things like this. I might treat myself to a couple. The stone series looks really nice too. All right. I think, I think it's an Enderman. I think it's an Enderman holding a block. So let's see if I'm right or not. Dun, 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 dun. I know the birds are... Oh, it's an Enderman! It is! Look at how cute it is! It's a little Enderman holding a little block. Oh my gosh, that makes me happy. I really did want that. Because the Endermen have always been kind of like our friends in Sue Crafting. We don't really mess with them. They come and they do dance parties in the reptile house during the rain, which I think is amazing. And wherever they leave blocks, we plant an Enderman azalea. And we put down uh, the bright purple azalea like their eyes over there. There we go. So yes, we got one of the ones that I wanted. Really would love a cow, but mostly I want some zombie villagers. I have a dream of having just like zombie villagers. If you guys ever wanted to send me one, it would either be like a mushroom or a zombie villager that I would really want. <laughs> I love my, my skeleton though that I've got sent. That's such a cool little gift. Alright, this one feels like... Another Steve. I'm going to have Steves to give away. I'm going to give him a name. Let's see. No! Oh, it's one of the little golems! Look at that! Oh, I love the detail. I didn't see on the, the box that they actually have plant detail growing up the side. So this is actually going to be our, our guy, Boulder, who takes care of Junior and JJ and protects them. So this is Boulder. There we go. Oh, that's fun! We haven't had a repeat yet, which means I probably just cursed myself to get a repeat from this. I really may start just doing little things like this every now and then. Uh, it was a big deal to have enough spare money <laughs> to, to just get a few, but you gotta do some, sometimes you just gotta do what brings joy to your heart. I don't feel the nose again on the zombie villager, but this one feels a little different. Are you, are you Steve in a gold armor suit? I should name you after poet. This is, oh actually! <laughs> It's the snowman! We got a different one each time! That is so cool! So now we have the little snowman. Let me show you guys. Do, do, do. Check them out! What's up, little guys? Are you guys all so cool? So I'm actually really happy because I'm going to pretend this is Turnip Head. You know, our, our like scarecrow. I'm going to pretend this is Turnip Head. And here's a friendly Enderman. And here's a Steve. So we'll, we'll save him, I might give him away, uh, like in some sort of cool little giveaway event, that would be fun. And then a little, a little protector of our villagers, this is Boulder who protects Junior and JJ. That is so cool. Well, that makes me really happy, you guys. That was actually a lot more fun than I even thought it was going to be, and I thought it was going to be a lot of fun. So we'll do more of these in the future. It's, it's just cool. They're little surprise secrets. And they add to our little world. So, thank you guys. I'm going to add these guys over to where my cool little skeleton's hanging out. And I will see you guys next time. And remember, stay curious.